and good morning. Here in Melbourne, Florida, it's 4.44 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Yes, we lost an hour's sleep here last night because of that. So it would really be 3.44 yesterday at this time. So it's only been 23 hours since I addressed you the last time. And 4.44, what does that mean? All these double and triple numbers that I use on the clock when I start my little videos each day. Yes, four is a number for the earth. And any double numbers to me are master numbers, like anything divisible by 11 is a master number, at least in the, er in the early phases, you know, 22, 33, 44, 55, etc. And four is earth, master number, we're grounding the master energy on the planet Earth. And today I'm going to talk to you about it's time to wake up. <laughs> and it is time to wake up and I'm going to be sharing something with you that came across my desk yesterday on the internet, of course. That's where we're connecting all of this stuff. And it's from Great Britain. And it's about lawful rebellion. It's from the uh, website lawfulrebellion.org.uk and I'm actually going to read not the whole thing because it's too long but I'm going to read the introduction and the six points without explanation on the six points so here goes a friendly but firm warning to all politicians concerning this statement. We the people hereby serve notice under common law to all elected politicians of all parties in Great Britain that failure to take action to restore the British people's sovereignty and to overturn the treason and criminality that has occurred and is occurring at the highest levels in this country will lead to charges of being personally complicit in this treason and criminally and therefore and criminality and therefore liable to protection under common law a definitive statement exposing the political treason and criminality currently being carried out on the law abiding people of the british isles we the British people now know what is being done un unlawfully in our name and are now taking back our country from the highly placed traitors and criminals by using the precedence of common law over parliamentary statutes and by carrying out effective and peaceful actions under our ancient right to lawful rebellion under Article 61 of Magna Carta 1215. This is a definitive statement made by the common law-abiding people of the British Isles, directed at every democratically elected man and woman at every level of the present British political system. Failure by any such elected representative to act decisively in response to this statement of exposure could potentially result in prosecution under common law for knowingly sanctioning acts of treason, fraud, conspiracy to deceive, and complicity in shameful crimes such as the abuse of children. Politicians found on examination of their record to be directly involved in such treason and criminal acts will receive severe custodial sentences. Ignorance will be less than ever a defense. All the prima facie evidence is there for elected representatives and ordinary people to see. And charge sheets against key individuals are currently being drawn up to start the judicial process under common law to put an end to this establishment-led treason and criminality. It is clear 
beyond all reasonable doubt and with evidence that would stand up in any properly conducted court of law, that the influential network of rogue British politicians across the parties is unlawfully involved in carrying out the hidden strategies and agendas of a centuries-old secretive and criminal global elite who are seeking the imposition of unlawful global governments on the unsuspecting peoples of the world. Known broadly by researchers as the New World Order, though some refer to them as Illuminati or Zionists, please note this does not mean Judaism. The modus operandi of these powerful traitors and criminals is now clear for all to see. Only a complete fool or someone who is complicit at some level with what is really going on would deny the existence of such a global elite network. The Committee of 300, the Bilderberg Group, the Trilateral Commission, the Council on Foreign Relations, the Club of Rome, to name but just a few of this network's component institutions, are where powerful international bankers, politicians, industrialists, media moguls, and members of traditional bloodline royal and aristocratic families meet in secret behind closed doors to draw up their criminal strategies and agendas for achieving global government on their terms. Detailed criminals wait a minute detailed networks of influential politicians industrialists campaigning groups charities and key individuals in trusted positions who then continue with their own treasonous and criminal work in seeking to undermine even further the very fabric infrastructure and integrity of the country they are supposedly serving not surprisingly any detailed research an investigation into people involved in this network or into the network itself often results in flat denial, ridicule, and even threats. There are currently six major areas of public and political concern where this hidden hand of the New World Order has unlawfully involved itself with the affairs and well-being of the British people. Now I will read those six things, and again, I will not enumerate on them. I will not go into detail on them, but I will list the website where you can read the rest of it. Number one, banking, the national debt, and the budget deficit. Number two, the European Union and British sovereignty. Number three, Climate change, the green agenda, and eugenics. Number four, the war on terror. Number five, common law versus parliamentary statutes, lawful rebellion. Number six, the abuse of children, establishment pedophilia. I read that statement and it is significant and I'm going to tell you why it's significant. There are basically three city-states in our world that control the world. They are the Vatican, which I'm not going to address in much detail, but the Vatican stretches over the entire world. And there is a white pope and a black pope or a dark pope. And it has long been involved in world domination. The city of London is the headquarters of the banking industry worldwide. So it's very significant that this comes out of Great Britain. And Washington District of Columbia is the military headquarters of this new world order to enforce the new world order and to place it over all the nations as a stranglehold on all the nations around the world. These city-states run our world. Now, Great Britain and the United States have as their fa lawful foundation 
common law or what is known as the law of the land. We have been pushing this on the rest of the world. So what happens in the United States and what happens in Great Britain is going to affect every nation and every person on the planet. Every individual will feel the results of what is happening with this lawful rebellion that is taking place not only in Great Britain, but in the United States as well. And I want everyone in the world, wherever you are, whatever country you're in, why isn't it happening there? Because it's coming from here. It's coming from Great Britain here. It's coming from the United States here. And every Commonwealth nation on earth has as its foundation, that's Australia and Canada and South Africa, even India. And there was a time that the, the sun did not set on the British Empire and they established common law rule and oaths of office are not taken based on the current statutes of maritime or admiralty law. They're based on, on constitutional law and on, on British common law. So this is the foundation for law around the world in which it's the, it's the law to which po politicians and those who hold high government uh, positions take their oath of office. And they are in violation of their oath of office as they work for the international bankers in implementing this new world order. Now let me tell you something. There's going to be a new world order. The old world order has been based on fraud and deceit. And the whole political structure and the whole financial structure and virtually the entire religious structure of the world is complicit in this thing. We know what the Catholic Church is doing with their, with their sanctioned pedophilia that is coming to the light. Well, this is not just in the Catholic Church. This is at all the high levels of these political institutions. And the media has been silent. People like me are becoming your media to tell you the truth that the media is not telling you. And I'm not afraid to tell the truth. And there are others that are not afraid to tell the truth. We are speaking out because it's time to wake up. It's time to wake up and reclaim the sovereignty of our rights that were given to us by our Creator, not by the government. The government does not and cannot bestow rights upon you. The rights are given by the Creator, and they are written on the tables of your heart. This is the time for the opening of the heart. Wake up and let your heart open. Let your mind expand to receive truth. Truth is what will set you free. And this is the time of truth. This is the time of the awakening. This is the ninth wave when everything comes together and we turn the world on its head, inside out and upside down, and we change the way things are. We bring peace to earth and justice with mercy to every man, woman, and child on this planet. This is our hour. This is our time. We are awakening. The sleeping giant is rousing from sleep. The genie is out of the bottle. They're not going to be able to stuff it back in. And when I say they, it is not a war between us and them. Recognize this. There, is on, there are only us here. They are part of us. And they have used our ignorance to establish what they've established. Well, now that we're awakening our ignorance is no longer there to give consent. And they derive their power, as all governments do, from the consent of the governed. I'm going to pull the cord on this now because I don't want it to go over 15 minutes. And yes, I do pay attention to time. I want to bless you, and I want to thank you for listening. And I want you to hold what I've shared with you in your heart and not just hold it there. But let the seed that has been planted grow and sprout and bring forth fruit. I bless you this morning or whatever time you're listening and watching this video. May God bless you. Namaste. Oh, yes.